So we're like a hard technology company in the sense that like, you know, what we work on is genetic engineering of cells. We have a hundred thousand square foot lab with all this robotics and fancy equipment, right? It's not like a internet company or software company. Um, and I think one thing I didn't appreciate going in was that the traditional venture ecosystem, you know, like we think of it as like tech VC it is, it's largely an ecosystem that pursues like business risk. In other words, like will grown adults ride scooters? That's a business question, right? Can you build a network of scooters that you can sign up on your phone? You know, right? Yeah, yeah of course. You know, right? There's no, there's no technical risk embedded in a scooter network, right? There's just business risk. And, and so you have this whole uh, tech venture community that really is familiar with that sort of risk. And, and then outside of like little niches, like say therapeutics, like, like pharma VC, there's not a lot of familiarity with technical risk, right? In other words, like, yeah, there's, the market risk for a cancer drug is not in doubt, you know? I think if you had a, a cure for cancer, people would pay for it, not a lot of market risk, but boy, it has an enormous amount of technical risk, right? And so what, I, what was interesting to find out was outside of that narrow area, like therapeutics, investors that understand technical risk is almost non-existent. And so it's really hard as a company that is coming out early on and still has embedded technical risk to find sources of capital that are willing to to take that kind of risk because they don't know it. it, it, it you, once you understand that, you can do some things about it, but uh, that was a hard lesson to learn. And so we were able to go out and prove, you know, kind of mature the technology as far as we could and then go out and win like customer contracts and, and like use commercial progress as a proxy for technical progress so that we could we could speak the language of that investor set, um, like coming out of Y Combinator and things like that. And, and that's the right way to do it for now. I think if you're a hard tech company like we were. I think I see a lot of entrepreneurs at the venture stage in particular, I think like over, like overfit a little bit to what they think in the, the investment community wants um, because they're, they, you know, they do need capital, right? So I get that, but at the end of the day, venture money follows business progress. And so it's like the cart leading the horse when they do that. And Y Combinator, we did Y Combinator. They're very good at beating that out of people, but that, that is a lesson that you don't need to get into YC to learn, which is, you know, you need to you need to build a company that produces something of value and then you get that engine going and then it's good, you're, you're gonna have to turn away money, right? Uh, and investment money. It's not it's not some game where you're trying to, you know, kind of figure out what investors wanna hear. That that's that's you know, that's not the right way to think about it.